In this video, we're going to look at the structures of thoracic vertebrae and why I know these are thoracic and not lumbar or cervical. Now, this is a rotating model. We're going to rotate it. I'm grabbing it, clicking on it, grabbing, and I could spin it around. I could also let it play. It makes me dizzy, especially since I have a little tag right there. It'll drive you crazy now, too. And you can move back and forth with those arrows, too. Oh, look, there's the tag. Now, this also will make it larger, and this gives you the landmarks. I zoomed in, especially so you could see the demi facets on it and the articulating facets. And how can we forget the transverse facet, the most important facet on these vertebrae? Demi facets are cute. So here are two cervical vertebrae, and they have their intervertebral disc between them. This one actually fits in. It starts to see the demi facet right on the side of the body there. So this is the body, it has a medium-sized body. It actually looks like a heart-shaped body. So see, it sort of looks like a heart there. Yeah, so it looks like a heart. And it's bigger than the cervical. It is smaller than the lumbar. Now, as we rotate to the side, we're going to see these demi facets right here. See the demi facets? There's a demi facet there, a demi facet there, a demi facet there. Each of them has two a superior and an inferior one. Now, the head of the rib is going to be right here. So the rib's head is going to articulate right here, and it has to be able to lift, move around, because when you breathe in, the ribs lift up. When you breathe out, when you're exercising, the ribs go down. So this, these demi facets articulate the head of the ribs. Now, Similar to the cervical and the lumbar, there is a vertebral arch that goes all the way around. So here's the vertebral arch again. Lamina and pedicle are the two parts of it. And the spinal column or spinal cord goes to the center. This is the vertebral foramen. Coming off the arch is the transverse process. Now these transverse processes have a facet called a transverse facet. So this one is a lot better. Unfortunately, it's been cut off. So if I actually zoom in on the landmarks, there's the transverse facet. Isn't it beautiful? Now, we haven't learned about the ribs, but they're going to have the head here between the dummy facets. There's going to be a neck right here, and then there's going to be a turbuckle. The turbuckle is going to be right there. And again, that helps support the rib and allows it to lift up and down as you're breathing in and out while you are running a marathon. So there's the two demi facets. And since we're on this, the intervertebral disc is pushing apart the body. And that leaves space for the intervertebral foramen. The spinal nerves are going to come out of this. And here's the superior articulating facet. Here's the inferior articulating facet. And they basically form a joint together. And these are very straight up and down. On the other vertebrae, they're not nice and perfectly straight like this. There's a little bit of variation. So here are the articulating facets. This is the inferior one. Here's another inferior one. See how they're straight up and down. Here's the superior one. Here's another superior one. Now, those are plastic vertebrae. I don't like the plastic ones because the transverse facet is not well represented. Here's the transverse facet. So it really is a facet. You could tell it's separate from the transverse process right here. So isn't that a beautiful one? I do not have a rotating model for this one, this is a real vertebrae. I'm not about to transport that or handle it. So here's the demi facets. So they're there too. They were a lot clearer. And we could see the articulating facets. There's no cartilage between the two. So see how this is more compacted than it would. So far, we've done the body, demi facets, superior articulating facets, inferior articulating facets, transverse process, transverse facet on the back we have the spinous process. Now, the spinous process is really, really steep. I actually picked this one because it has a very clear demi, very clear transverse facet right there. Unfortunately, its spinous process is not as obvious as this one. So see how angled down that one is? So that's another feature. It's very, very downward angled for the spinous process. So see, I actually had to put it on two vertebral discs. 
These are actually for the lumbar vertebrae even. So that's how big that spacing was. So what's nice about this one, even though I didn't take a picture of the back posterior, I'm sorry, as you can see, it's a very sharp spinous process. So spin the model around, look at the landmarks. Thank you.